Hello dear children, welcome you all back to science class. In today's class, we are going to begin with the 11th chapter that is push and pull. Have you ever heard of these words push and pull? Or do you know what is the difference between a push and a pull? Let's see that now. When we move any object, we either push the object or we pull the object. But what is the difference between push and pull? When we move anything away from us, we call that as push. Now, can you think of few of the examples where we move anything that is away from us? So, there are some cases when we move objects away from us. So, in such cases, we are pushing the objects. Now, let us see few of the examples. When we play cricket, we know that the batsman will hit the ball and the ball moves away from the batsman, isn't it? Yes, so when we play cricket, we push the ball with the bat. That is, the ball moves away from the person who is batting. So when we play cricket, we are pushing the ball with the bat. Now, can you think of what happens during cycling? During cycling, we know that if the cycle has to move forward, we have to push the pedals of the bicycle with our legs. So again, during the process of cycling, we push the pedals of the bicycle. Now, what happens when we open or close a door? When we open or close a door, again, we are actually pushing the door. For example, when we open the door, we push the door and the door opens. Now, in the same way, when we close the door, we need to push the door so that the door closes, isn't it? Yes, in both the cases, we are moving the object away from us. Now, what happens in case of a trolley when we go for a shopping? We all know that when we use a trolley, we need to push the trolley forward. Then only we can move forward with the things that we buy, isn't it? Yes, so when we go for shopping, we push the trolley and then we move forward. So again, here when we move forward with the trolley, that is actually push because we are moving the object away from us. So these are some of the examples of push. Remember that pushing happens when you move anything away from us. Now, let us learn what is meant by pull. So we have learned that when we push an object, the object moves away from us. Just opposite to that, when we pull an object, the object moves towards us. So that is the difference between a push and a pull. Now let us see few of the examples of pull. When you open a door or close a door, we actually pull it. So opening or closing a door is an example of both push and pull. Now it will be a push or a pull depending upon where you are standing and opening or closing the door. So remember that opening or closing a door is an example of both push and pull depending upon the place where you are standing and opening or closing the door. Now, can you think of what happens when you open a drawer? For example, you open the drawer of your table. So how do you open it? You need to move the drawer towards you, isn't it? Yes, then only the drawer gets opened. So when you move that object towards you, we call that as a pull. So when we open the drawer, we are actually pulling the drawer towards us. In the same way, another example is when we take out a book from a bookshelf. Now, a book is placed on a bookshelf. Now, how do you take out book from a bookshelf? You need to move the object towards you, isn't it? That's how you take out the book. So when you move that object that is book towards you, we are actually pulling the object. 
So when you take out a book from bookshelf, that is an example of pull. In the same way, another common example of pull is that of a tug of war. So when we play tug of war, how do we play tug of war? There will be people standing at both sides of a rope and then they will be moving the rope towards them, isn't it? Yes, so that's how they play tug of war. So when they move the rope towards them, they are actually pulling the rope, isn't it? So while playing tug of war, we actually pull the rope and the rope moves towards us. So when it moves towards us, we call that as a pull. So we have now learned what is meant by push and what is meant by pull. We have also understood what are the examples of push and pull and also their differences. So this push or pull on an object is known as force. So remember that whenever you push an object, that is when the object moves away from you or when you pull an object, that is when the object moves towards you, you are actually applying a force on an object. So this force that you apply on the object will make the object move. So push or pull on an object is known as force.